can all rest quietly because the Pentagon has laid out a strategic a disaster plan to combat the zombie apocalypse. The Pentagon tries to come up with a plan for everything. So rest at night and stop worrying about the zombies attacking your town. The plan is called CONOP 8888, created by the U.S. Strategic Command. It's a 31-page document created on April 30th, 2011. Phases of this operation begin with conducting zombie awareness training, recalling all military personnel to their duty stations, deploying reconnaissance team to ascertain the general safety of the environment, this also spells out how to deal with hospitals that are infected, the rules of engagement with zombies, which is quoted the only assumed way to effectively cause casualty to the zombie ranks by tactical force is the concentration of all firepower to the head, specifically the brain. The plan then goes on to say the only way to ensure a zombie is dead is to burn the zombie corpse. This plan also has a chain of command that is clearly spelled out from the president all the way down. Also in this plan is how to restore civil authority after the zombie threat has been neutralized. Of course this is designed to be a training scenario, however the Center for Disease Control as well as the Department of Homeland Security also have zombie contingency plans. CONOP 8888, this 31 page strategy has classified zombies into eight different categories from zombies created by a pathogen, zombies created by evil magic, vegetarian zombies, Chicken zombies, which stemmed from an incident in 2006 in Pataloma, California, where carbon monoxide was used in an attempt to kill several sick chickens, only to realize that many of those chickens began to get up and start walking around kind of in a zombie state for a few moments before they died, as well as symbiont-induced zombies. This plan also includes legal ramification to ensure laws against killing humans and animals won't apply to zombies. Some realities of this plan that are a little scary. This plan discloses that there's not enough food for the military to barricade itself for more than 30 days. It also spells out a nuclear response, in quote, which are likely the most effective weapons against zombies. Now for the purpose of this plan, the Pentagon is quoted as saying, Training examples for plan must accommodate the political fallout that occurs if the general public mistakenly believes that a fictional training scenario is actually a real plan. This quote also goes on to say, rather than risk such an outcome by teaching our augmentees using fictional Tunisia and Nigeria scenarios used at Joint Combat Warfighting School, we elected to use a completely impossible scenario that could never be mistaken as a real plan. So there you go, rest assured, the US government has some great zombie plans. Pretty sure we're never gonna need it. To see more great history of weapons videos on swords, guns, as well as battleships, click this link. Love to hear your thoughts on this. Put it in the comments below. If you like this video, click like and subscribe. And thank you for watching the history of weapons.